marks the official start of deer archery season in the Green Mountain State. But officials say it will look a little different this year. Local 44's Courtney Adelman joins us live this morning with all of those details. Good morning, Courtney. Well, good morning, Abby. Yes, new regulations regarding deer hunting season and archery season will go into effect today, October 1st. I spoke with officials from Vermont Fish and Wildlife who say they've been working on these regulations for a while and deer hunters will have to start following them today. October 1st is the start of our deer archery season and there's a number of changes that are going to be happening uh, statewide for Vermont in terms of deer and deer hunting. Adam Miller is the Wildlife Management Program Manager for Vermont Fish and Wildlife. He says one of the notable changes is the archery season itself. The season has been expanded and crossbows are now allowed for all ages. Previously it was for anyone that had some sort of a form of a physical disability or um, was over the age of 50. So now it's liberalized for all to use. Other changes include a one buck annual limit for hunters and the annual limit for deer has been changed from three to four per season. And previously what Vermonters knew for buck hunting as the spike horn rule, which was a ban that uh, deer had to have more than two points on one or two or more points on one side or better. Uh, we've changed that where in certain zones, hunters are able to shoot spike horn bucks. Miller says there is also a new novice hunting season that will happen the same time as the youth hunting season, which will start earlier than previous years. So it's an effort to try and recruit new kind of what we would call adult onset hunters. There will also be what's known as a four day muzzleloader antlerless only season earlier in the year. Miller says changes are needed periodically when it comes to deer hunting regulations in order for long term deer population goals. Deer weren't where they used to aren't where they used to be. Deer populations have changed. And the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department has also put out a web page with things like videos and frequently asked questions explaining these new regulations. For now, live in Colchester, Courtney Adelman, Local 44 News.